Give me another hug. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. We still got just a couple minutes left. So right there. You guys have any other questions or ideas? Do you think Leah knew that she was adopted growing up? I tend to think most likely they, they told her. I think she was strong willed enough. Um, that uh, e even if they didn't specifically tell her, I think she kind of she kind of knew without being told. Because once again, you know, when, when Luke tells her, "Hey, you're my sister," uh, Darth Vader's your father, basically. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, it doesn't really come as a surprise to her. And if you read in the in the books uh, for the extended universe, you see that she has a little bit of trouble, well, more than a little, little bit, but quite a bit of trouble actually, yeah. accepting somebody as evil as Darth Vader mm -hmm. as her father, but it's not a surprise to her. So I think that, yeah, either she knew from being told or she just she felt it in the force. I always wondered, while she was growing up, she was thrown into politics a lot, and so was he, because the Emperor was um, very high in politics, and so Darth Vader was under him, and I always wondered if they were thrown together as, while she was growing up, if she saw him at Functions and I don't know dignitary stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, I know. Uh, sure. How old was Spygon? And he was trained. Hmm. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Any yeah, thoughts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How you first that? I'm thinking it was probably you know around the s similar age as the other younglings in the. Like older public or prequel type time, um, maybe eight or nine starting off. I don't know. Do we ever know? Who Probably a little. Um, Dooku, wasn't it? Was it Dooku? Or was it? Um, I think so. In the oh, second one? Yeah. Because I thought it was Yoda for a long time, but um, I think he's anyways. Must be right. right. Did you train the fire? I think so. Before he turned to the dark side? Wow. I this is all new to him. So then so I think, yeah, I think, yeah, um, I think you're right. The clones when, when he Yoda trained uh, Dooku. Was, did, was Dooku oh. part of the dark side though? Well, not initially. He, he it was. It seemed like he just knew other things that the Jedi didn't know what was going on. And he was fighting this. He was actually fighting the evil. I think he was fighting the he was doing the droid army to fight the clones that were coming in. Yeah, that's true. So <laughs> he knew that the evil Great. was on the rise, so he <laughs> wasn't exactly... <laughs> well, I think to some degree he was he was manipulated <coughs> by Palpatine uh, without is. realizing it. Uh, you know, as powerful as Dooku was, you know, when, when we see his end at the hands of, of Anakin, um, you know, I've often wondered if he knew that it was his master, uh, Sidious, who was sitting in that chair giving Anakin the command to kill Dooku. Yeah. And you know that that and I love Christopher Lee. I mean, just as an actor, um, as as a as a person, he's just he's amazing, and and he just conveys so much in his face. It's you know saying you know I can't believe this is happening, and uh, so I I don't think he ever foresaw that as a possibility. Um, so I, th I think he was very much manipulated. And into doing what Palpatine wanted him to do uh, unwittingly. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, going back to the original question, I, I tend to think that, that Qui-Gon growing up in the heyday of the Old Republic would have followed as a child, even though we, we know that, that because of his, his ideas and his, um, you know, his, his resistance to the status quo. He's not on the council, uh, but that's an, as an adult. That's him making his own decisions. I, I tend to think that, that growing up, he would have been much more in line with the with the standard of you know identified early, joined the academy uh, as a kid, you know, get a master, um, 
at the, at the appropriate age, uh, and then after he became a knight and worked his way up to master, I think that's probably when he started being with him, and was only his stepping forth, uh, or, or, or stepping away from, uh, from the traditional way of doing things. Well, all right, well, guys, we would like to thank you for coming. Uh, we'll be, you can find us hanging out at the Bands for Christ table all weekend. Uh, and then we'll also be having a, uh, a church service this Sunday.